I grabbed the gun, put it to my chest, I pulled the trigger. I'm paralyzed from the belly button down. Cassandra has been the key in getting me back to being me. I actually never had the thought of committing suicide before leading up to the time where everything happened. I just had a lot of stuff going on to where I just felt like I just couldn't take it no more. You know, men, they're supposed to be very macho and nobody, no man wants to look weak. I'm Kevin Ortiz, I'm 28 years old and I tried to kill myself. Yeah, I was falling right here. This is like the military photo, trying to take a selfie, <laughs> thinking I look good or something. <laughs> I'm actually retired at the United States Air Force. My parents, they knew I was, you know, going through stuff, but then at the same time, I'm at war, I'm in Afghanistan. The moment I attempted to suicide, um, it's actually kind of vivid. I was driving and came to a red light and the gun actually was about to fall off the seat. For some reason, it came to my head, if I pull the trigger, ain't nothing gonna happen. And I pulled the trigger and something happened. It was just so loud and my ears was ringing. I lost my breath. And when I lost my breath, my head just kind of just went down. And that's when I seen I had a hole in my chest. And then I wake up like three weeks later. The moment I found out I was paralyzed, I had just woke up out of a coma. My mom was sitting right across from me. I felt like I was just happy to be alive. Cassandra is actually probably my biggest support system. She, she She's the one that helped me get out of the funk I was in. She's the one that pretty much brought me back to being me. All right, so today we are gonna be talking about what it is like today, somebody in a wheelchair. I started my YouTube channel back in 2013 and we do like couples videos and challenges. Since I told my YouTube channel how I got paralyzed, they've been wanting to know just little stuff about me and my everyday life and like what, you know, somebody in a wheelchair has to go through. How I do things, how I transfer, how I exercise or how I might ride the bike or just stuff like that. Stay right there, fat boy, stay. All right? I guess everybody feels like you can't have sex, you can't do much. I would say like embarrassed and ashamed. You can't get on the airplane. You can't drive. <laughs> you can't swim. You can still do all those things. Yeah, I've done all those things. <laughs> I would say the biggest obstacle that we face is getting anything off the top shelf. That's probably the biggest thing that we face because she's short, I'm now short. I'm short, so it's like we gotta kinda work together to get something off the top shelf. Cassandra, she pretty much helps me with like my everyday life. Like, so from like waking up, taking a shower, um, getting in the car, she's the one that folds up my wheelchair and puts it in the trunk, yeah. so. All right. We have a very open relationship to where we, I talk to her a lot, so instead of keeping stuff in, I get everything off my chest. To me, it's hard to really distinguish what caregiving is and then what um, girlfriend is, I, just because I'm always, I feel like that's just also a way of me showing love and care at the same time. So um, that's pretty much it. That's a good so usually I have to kind of help him with this door. I always leave it propped open. So at this point, I just kind of stand here as a guard to make sure if he, if he needs help or anything, pushing over, transferring into the seat in the car seat. Yeah, I'm a little tall, so gotta fix my legs. Gotta adjust my legs. Take off the seat first, and every wheelchair is different, but I've learned to 
learn how to take this wheelchair apart pretty quickly. And it might look heavy, but it's not too heavy. It's easy to pick up and throw in the trunk. And then that's how we do it every single time. But this car, um, it has a hand control up in here for me. So all you have to do is push it in for brake. And then this little lever right here is used for gas. You push it in to activate it and then it should be good. And then that's how you use the gas right there. It's kind of like a video game. <laughs> My current mental health situation is pretty good. I don't take any medications. I don't go see a doctor. I think the best part of our relationship is how open and communicative we are with each other. Communication is definitely a big part in our relationship because we definitely, we communicate about everything. I think it's important to raise awareness because you never know who you're gonna fall in love with. Being in an enabled relationship is not that different from being in a non-enabled relationship. You're still in love and that's, at the end of the day, that's all that should really matter.